Hey everyone, this video is going to discuss some brief but important aspects of pulmonary hypertension, so let's get right into it. Some of the topics that are going to be discussed include the definition of pulmonary hypertension, risk factors, causes, how to diagnose, and how to treat. Pulmonary hypertension is exactly what it sounds like. It's high blood pressure in the pulmonary arteries. This leads to pulmonary arteries delivering oxygen-poor blood from the heart to the lungs. When the blood pressure is too high in the pulmonary arteries, this reduces blood flow and it causes low levels of oxygen in the blood. Some of the major risk factors for pulmonary hypertension include scleroderma, which is illustrated in the top right picture, lupus, which is illustrated in the bottom right picture with the male rash, family history, pregnancy, uh, females are more likely affected, and uh, obesity is also another risk factor. The best screening tool for pulmonary hypertension is an echocardiogram. Uh, but for actually confirming the diagnosis, the gold standard is a right heart catheterization. So now that we know the risk factors, there's three main causes that contribute towards pulmonary hypertension, and these include increased endothelin, decreased prostacyclin, and decreased nitric oxide. So endothelin is a vasoconstrictor, so increasing it is very problematic. Prostacyclin and nitric oxide are vasodilators, so decreasing these are another major cause of pulmonary hypertension. In regards to treatment, there's actually no cure for pulmonary hypertension, but there are treatments available. It's important to recognize that early diagnosis will contribute to better outcomes in patients. Some of the major medications that can help a patient include endothelin antagonists, because if you remember, we had increased endothelin as one of the major causes of pulmonary hypertension, so applying an antagonist will help decrease its levels. Prostacyclins, which we can give directly, which are vasodilators, and phosphodiesterase inhibitors like sildenafil will also help vasodilate. Hopefully this video is helpful in discussing some of the key features of pulmonary hypertension. Thanks for watching and please leave any questions below.